Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit like, share the video if you like it, and uh, leave me a comment down below. I'll try to be nice. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a uh, install of a Hook Road rear bumper and tire carrier for the back of my Jeep here. Um, I got some new wheels and tires. Uh, the plane going by. I hope you can hear me okay. Anyway, I got some, uh, bought these, picked up these wheels and tires, uh, used, new to me. And from my understanding, you shouldn't put tires that big, wheels and tires that big on the back tailgate because it's not designed for that kind of weight and you'll end up bending up the tailgate. So with that in mind, I went ahead and ordered a new, the new rear bumper with the tire carrier and I'm gonna get that installed today in this video. Um, next video will have uh, me installing a front bumper. We got one of those also, but I'm only gonna do one video or one, one bumper per video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this unboxed and uh, we'll get started. All right, guys, so that is it. That is fully unboxed, everything unwrapped, tire carrier, bumper, all the little parts and pieces, brackets, D-rings. Everything was, you know, individually wrapped, and all the parts and pieces were in a, two separate little boxes. This one here, as you saw, was in one box by itself. That's the mount for the tire that'll get mounted to the tire carrier. And then you have the plate, the delete plate for the cover up the holes where the old tailgate or the old tire carrier is. And then it also connects to the tire carrier so that when you open the tailgate, it opens the tire carrier. You don't have to do it separate. And then you got a little bump stop cap for the top of the, some brackets. Overall, Everything was very well packaged. Um, I didn't like that the bumper itself was just covered in plastic, and so was the tire carrier. All right, so first thing I need to do to get this bumper off is remove this receiver hitch that I installed. Um, and there's just four bolts right back here that I'll need to un undo. the uh, aftermarket receiver hitch that I had put on. Um, if I remember right, 
it was about 50 bucks came from extreme terrain um, but like I said the new bumper has a built-in receiver so I won't be needing that so it's probably going to go on Facebook marketplace in the meantime to finish taking the bumper off next thing I got to do is right down here on the side there's two bolts mounting it to the frame rail on either side so now I need to remove those All right, I've got a couple more bolts I need to undo here and there to get the bumper off. But before I do that, I need to, I was able to pop this camera out, but uh, I don't want to cut the wire and I've got a disconnect, but it's running up through the tub behind the light. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that light out disconnect the wire pull the camera out before I finish doing the bumper you shouldn't have to do this step unless you've installed a camera in the same place on your bumper but I'm gonna go ahead and get that done all right so I got my camera disconnected and now that's removed so now I've got couple more bolts and I'll be able to take the back bumper off. Okay, so it might be a little hard for you to see, but this was the, the one that I just took off and the one over there. And the back bumper still wouldn't come off. I need to remove these. I thought I could lift this up over it, but I can't. So I gotta remove this bracket from the actual bumper here and on the other end. I don't think you're gonna be able to see while I do that, so I'm just gonna do it real quick. There it is, back bumper's been removed. And one final thing I need to do is remove this tow hook. And it's gonna be, need to be removed to be able to install the new back bumper. the final step for removing the bumper. Now ready to start the install of the new bumper. Okay guys, so this is the way that the instructions came out of the box. Luckily, I was able to download, scan this QR code and download a PDF version. printed it out because I'm using my camera or my phone to uh, film a lot of this and I didn't want to have to keep going back and forth between the phone camera and the PDF trying to film so I went ahead and printed it out make it a little easier to read anyway um, so there's all the parts list if you notice they have 
letters for each one of the different parts which uh, looking at these instructions they're not the most user-friendly um, by the way if you happen to need instructions for this uh, particular bumper if you want to pause the video and scan this QR code it'll take you straight to the instruction PDF but anyway so you can see here the instructions are kind of vague it says begin by removing the factory tailgate vent cover and the bumper and then it says stuff like place part Y into the car frame uh, if you look here part Y is these two brackets and that's all the instructions they give you luckily I'm smart enough to figure out that they want you to slide those in there like that so that you have something to screw the bumper to so that's the first thing I did slide those in and then they want you to take part Z and install with part H T and M is all it says so basically what they want you to do is take that bracket and slide it on the back of the bumper reinforcement and your bolts H T lock nut and M washer so it's not real intuitive but it's kind of not the most complicated thing in the world I just not real good at writing instructions <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, slide this in, and uh, we'll move on from there. Alright, so my neighbor just walked over here to say hi, and while he was over here, he helped me slide the bumper on. So I didn't get that on video, but it's easy, it just slid right in place, right over the two frame rails here, and now if you notice, you can see the, the threads from the piece that we put slid into the end of the frame rail and that's where your bolts will attach uh, and then this middle piece I would decided to wait until afterwards because it's just for support bolts will go through through the back side and bolt on right here so I'm going to do that now after the bumper's already slid on in place.
go. Back bumper is on. It's a nice, nice fit. Nice and tight tolerances. Made it a little harder to get on and get the bolts lined up, but I think it looks really good. Now I just got to do the tire carrier. I don't have to. This old one. I had this little clip here from a harness for the trailer. This one doesn't have it, so I'll just have to zip tie that up onto the reinforcement bar. Keep it up out of sight anyway. It was a little challenging getting the bolts lined up on this side, trying to hold the bumper up with one hand, hold the little plate inside the frame rail with the same hand, and then trying to thread the bolts through to get them started. But once I got them started, it was pretty easy. I mean, eight total bolts holding the bumper on, four in the center and four, two on each side. Nice looking lover. I'm not a real big fan of the, the logo here. I may end up pulling that off. got the whole tire carrier off, removed the vent, everything, cleaned it off really good. Now it looks like the next step is to install this bump stop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick.
All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Just the finished bumper. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video, and if you like what I'm doing here, hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, share it with your friends, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Try to be nice, guys. Thanks for watching.